Hello everyone, I am Cornell Pozzara with National Semiconductor. All hardware in data center base stations and various communication infrastructure utilize power bricks or custom power supplies. As system designers who develop these modules, you often face a number of challenges. Typically, the power supply design requirements include high power efficiency in the smallest form factor to achieve the highest power density at a low cost. At 200 watts and above, Designing a small form factor full bridge topology has been challenging. As power supply architects, you have been likely to select an easier to implement half bridge topology for small form factors and just accept the lower efficiency yield. Now, National Semiconductor is solving these power design challenges with a new LM5045 and LM5046, a pair of 100 volt full bridge PWM controllers with integrated MOSFET drivers. These are the most integrated full bridge PWM controllers in the industry, enabling you to design power modules with the greatest power density. The LM5045 and LM5046 contain all of the features necessary to implement a full bridge power converter. The devices integrate two amp full bridge gate drivers for high power density, small form factor power converters. They are designed to operate on the primary side of an isolated DC-DC converter with input voltages up to 100 volts, eliminating requirements for an external startup regulator. The controllers feature synchronous rectifier startup into pre-biased loads, which eliminates external circuitry and cost and save space on your board. They can both be configured to use current mode or voltage mode. In addition to programmable dead time for synchronous rectifiers in the LM5045, the LM5046 gives you the capability of phase shifting for zero voltage switching operation, which offers you greater efficiencies at higher input voltages and lower EMI emissions. What we have set up here on the bench is an LM5045 evaluation board. The evaluation board is a telecom industry standard quarter brick size. The input voltage range for this board is a standard telecom 36 volts to 75 volts. The output voltage is regulated at 3.3 volts with a maximum load current of 30 amps. I also have an LM5035 valuation board. The, the LM5035 employs a half bridge topology. This board is also in a telecom industry standard quarter brick with the same input and output specs as the LM5045 board. Here I have these two eval boards powered up and running. You can see from the power source that the input current of the full bridge LM5045 eval board is 2.2 amps, which translates to an efficiency of 92% while the input current of the LM5035 eval board is 2.3 amps, translating to 90% efficiency. For a given power, the full bridge topology sees half the primary current compared to a half bridge topology. This results in lower I2R losses in the primary of the full bridge. And as a result, the full bridge topology is inherently more efficient than the half bridge topology. In the past, the complexity of a full bridge topology typically required two extra half bridge drivers, which was the main hurdle in this adoption. The LM5045 overcomes many of these problems by offering a highly integrated controller. We took this concept further and we have built an industry standard 1 8 brick using the LM5045. The 1 8 brick, as the name suggests, is half the size of a quarter brick. The highly integrated LM5045 and LM5046 enable high efficiency small form factor power converters, driving higher power densities and expedited design cycle times. So there you have it, a quick look at how the LM5045 can help you overcome many of the obstacles you face in your power system designs. In addition to the LM5045, the LM5046 adds phase shifting capability, resulting in zero voltage switching for the primary side FETs, lower EMI emissions, and higher efficiencies for higher voltage applications. These are the first full bridge PWM controllers released by National Semiconductor, and they are complemented by secondary side drivers, voltage references, and error amplifiers that can be combined to create a completed isolated DC-DC power solution. In addition to the merchant power and communications infrastructure markets, these full bridge PWM controllers can be valuable in designing industrial power supplies up to 500 watts or greater, and also in hybrid electric vehicle systems. You can get more information on these offerings, including eval boards, application notes, demo videos, and a SPICE model, as well as other resources when you visit us at national.com slash isolatedpower.
That will wrap up things for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.